Juliette Lewis was only 17 years old when she fell in love with 27-year-old Brad Pitt. Their romance took the world by storm back in the 1990s, and they quickly became one of Hollywood's hottest couples. They were inseparable from the start and seemed to have everything going for them. Despite having broken up almost two decades ago, Juliet is still questioned about their three-year relationship. Meanwhile, Pitt went on to describe their romance as one of his greatest relationships. Juliet Lewis and Brad Pitt met on the set of the film Too Young to Die back in 1990. That's one of the greatest moments of my life. Yeah. Congratulations, Brad. Yeah, thank you. At the time, Juliet was just 17 years old and Brad was 27. Despite their 10-year age difference, the pair hit things off almost immediately. Juliet shared, We met on a movie and started dating when it was over. I already liked him as an actor. Plus, you gotta respect somebody who's in the same field as you. There were some that thought that Juliet may have been too young for such a serious relationship with someone who was a decade her senior. However, the new couple didn't let the public's opinion get in the way of their budding romance. What's more, Juliet wasn't just an average 17-year-old. She had already been through a lot in her life and was forced to grow up pretty quickly in her teen years. Her parents divorced when she was just two years old. Since her father, actor Jeffrey Lewis, was in the film industry. Well, my dad is a character actor, uh -huh. and so that was my whole introduction to movies. Juliet used to spend a lot of time on film sets when she was a young child. Much of her childhood involved going back and forth to spend time with both her parents, which resulted in young Lewis experiencing a lot of instability while growing up. Juliet knew she wanted to follow in her father's footsteps and become an actress. However, she felt like being in school was preventing her from being able to dedicate herself fully to her dream. While she was able to book some small roles, she wanted to be able to do more. Lewis then decided to drop out of school and become emancipated from her parents at just 15 years old so that she could focus all of her time on her career. After that, she took on roles in projects like The Wonder Years, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and My Stepmother is an Alien. While her career started to gain traction, Juliet admitted that she struggled with her identity and sense of self after being exposed to Hollywood at such a young age. She explained, As a teenager, I was severely, cripplingly dramatic and in search of self. The actress confessed that she would often test her own boundaries by spending time with dangerous people and deliberately putting herself in situations that were not healthy. She added, I would hang out with tough people real hoodlums, gang members, just to see how dangerous it could get. So by the time Juliet and Brad crossed paths, she had already done a lot of growing up, although admittedly, she knew she had a lot more to learn. At the start of their relationship, the pair were still fairly new to the big Hollywood scene. After working together on Too Young to Die, they connected over their love for acting and were able to support one another as their lives became thrown into the spotlight. During an interview, Lewis gushed, We're at the point in love where we just like to see each other every single day, and we don't get bored with each other, so it's really, really nice. Juliet and Brad had no intentions of slowing down their romance, and it didn't take long for them to move in together. Lewis recalled, For half of our relationship, we were just unknown young actors in L.A. I even remember his little bungalow that we lived in off Melrose that we'd smoke lots of pot in. The couple was virtually inseparable and couldn't get enough of each other. The media couldn't get enough of their relationship either. At 19, I was like wrapped up in my first love and you know, I was very 19. Throughout their relationship, as their careers gained more traction, so did the press frenzy around their romance. The couple was constantly followed by the paparazzi and were being photographed wherever they went. Juliet and Brad did their best not to let the press get in the way of their relationship. Despite the media's obsession at the time, the couple were blissfully happy together and simply wanted to enjoy each other's company. Lewis shared, We get to be around each other when we're working and talk and collaborate. We want to work together again and again and again. They were thrilled to be cast opposite each other once again in the 1993 film California. Brad was excited to have another opportunity to work with Juliet, saying, You do a scene, and then you go over and grab the one you love. 
The film was also an excuse for the couple to spend even more time together. Brad added, you want to keep your careers and your love, but we just wanted to do it more for a vacation. Sadly, their relationship didn't last much longer after they finished filming California and the couple announced their split in 1993. Lewis's publicist shared that the former couple planned on remaining friends. Despite their plan to remain friends, Lewis and Pitt drifted apart. The actress was next linked to Johnny Depp, her co-star in the 1993 film What's Eating Gilbert Grape. However, their romance was brief. Meanwhile, Pitt moved on to date Gwyneth Paltrow in 1994, even though he admitted that he wasn't really over Lewis. In a 1995 interview with Vanity Fair, Brad shared, I still love the woman. I had a great time with her. It was one of the greatest relationships I've ever been in. The problem is, we grow up in this vision that love conquers all, and that's just not so, is it? However, neither Pitt nor Lewis ever really shared the reasons for their breakup. Perhaps their 10-year age difference somehow played a part in Juliet being so young, or maybe media attention around their relationship just became too much. Brad said, We were trying to be Sid and Nancy or something. We were idiots. We were just having a great time. Following her split from Pitt, Juliet entered a dark period in her life and struggled with substance abuse. At 22 years old, she decided to enter a rehab program and has maintained a life of sobriety ever since. Lewis credited her recovery with helping her find peace and stability in her life. She shared, I had too much energy, so I was actually trying to sedate it. In 1999, she went on to marry professional skateboarder Steve Barra. Not much is known about their time together, and the couple eventually divorced in 2003 after only four years of marriage. It was around this time that Juliet decided to take a step back from acting and focus on her music career. I wanted to discover who I was as a songwriter, as a live performer. And you can't do that part-time. You cannot do that part-time, especially the rock and roll I'm, I'm do. She launched the rock band Juliet and the Licks and did her best to prioritize her mental health away from the spotlight of Hollywood. It's no surprise that over the years, Juliet has very often been questioned about her relationship with Brad and their subsequent breakup. She said that it amazes her that people are still fascinated by their three-year romance. I was a teenager at the time. It's a lifetime away. I was in my high school years, and it was a wonderful, loving relationship with a fun, smart guy. Then it was over, and he went on to become incredibly famous. In 2009, she commented that the only reason people approached her inquiring about him was because of his superstar status. Juliet explained, People ask me about him just because he's famous. They don't really ask about my ex-husband, which is a far more significant relationship because we were married. Juliet said that she was often irritated by the fact that the press coverage about her was usually about Brad Pitt or drug addiction, adding, I quit all my bullshit at 22. There is growth. Get out of the past. Despite their split, the former couple has never said anything negative about their time together. If anything, they look back at their romance fondly. Juliet recalled, It was such a lovely time in my life. Well, in both of our lives, because we were anonymous. Although they shared such an important time in their lives together and bonded over their newfound fame in Hollywood, Lewis admitted that, He's not in my universe at all now. It was my longest relationship and we both lost our anonymity together. She described Brad as a very stand-up good guy. Looking back at their romance, she feels like it was like a high school relationship because now he's a very famous person. She added, I look at this person that I shared a bit of history with. I hope he finds happiness because I genuinely loved him. However, Juliet admitted that it felt odd having lost contact with Brad after everything that they had experienced together. She shared, We're strangers now. Isn't that weird? I don't know him as an adult, and he doesn't know me. After all these years, Juliet has nothing but respect for Brad and wants only the best for him. While we can't help but wonder how things would have turned out if they had stayed together, at least we know that they made a positive impact on each other's lives and the breakup wasn't nasty. There's no doubt that the 90s was a time for epic Hollywood romances, and we won't be forgetting Brad and Juliet's love story anytime soon.